Broadcasting live from the Jersey Shore, it's Coach Kev on the Damage 365 Radio Network. Welcome back, everybody, to another exciting episode of the Indie Super Show here on the Damage 365 Radio Network. This is episode number 39. I'm Coach Kev. I'll be leading your way today. We'll be joined momentarily via satellite Nick DeBeard. He'll be calling in from his Survivor Series home, wherever that may be, somewhere up in the sticks of upstate, even though he hates when I say upstate New York, but that's where it is. Deal with it. But we are here today, we're going to give you UWA Elite Recap live from South River, New Jersey last night. We also want to go over our Survivor Series picks, opinions of everything going on, and of course the ISIS threat uh, that's lingering over the Survivor Series. Will that affect the attendance? And uh, we all know that it'll affect the security issues going on out there in uh, Survivor Series and you know, it's not something we really had to deal with before. Even after 9-11, nobody's actually ever decided they wanted to target WWE events. But uh, I guess with this being one of the largest events um, recently, this is uh, something that uh, I felt, I guess, felt ISIS felt they were in, uh, they're going to come after us. But you know what? If you're going to take a stadium full of people who are probably going to be really pissed off that Roman Reigns leaves Survivor Series as heavyweight champion, that might not be the best place to be if you're ISIS because you're going to get your ass kicked. So, um, unless, of course, they're wearing Dean Ambrose shirts. But, again, we will have UWA Elite preview uh, uh, recaps from Friday. We had some new champions crowned at that show Friday. Survivor Series preview, our picks. Nick DeBeard, of course, will call in with his... And uh, we got so much more, so without further ado, let's uh, get into our birthday shout-outs. couple on the docket today, including uh, Hall of Famers. So uh, sit back and relax, make this your Survivor Series pre-show. We'll only be on for about an hour today, so you don't miss any of the upcoming WWE pay-per-view Survivor Series available on the WWE Network for only $9.99. Anybody in the audience who's got a birthday today, happy birthday to you. And if you're not down with that, we've got two words for you. For by the New World Order. Hello, ladies. I'm the Big Balboski here, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. <laughs> Wrestling memorabilia from all around the world, including WWE, 
TNA, Japan, Mexico, and the very best of the independents. They've got action figures, DVDs, autographed memorabilia, t-shirts, and more. Plus, stop in and get tickets for great promotions like UWA Elite, CZW, and many others. Located indoors at the world-famous English Town Flea Market, Green Building Booth Number 35 on 90 Wilson Avenue, Manalapan Township, New Jersey. Open every Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Log on to Facebook.com slash Funkenstein Inc. for more information. WarriorsOfWrestling.com See roster profiles of past and present Warriors of Wrestling stars Over 50 highlight videos of Warriors of Wrestling events Full length matches Order tickets to future Warriors of Wrestling events An extensive DVD collection Featuring past events, compilations, documentaries And much, much more Only at WarriorsOfWrestling.com Esposito's Pizza and Pasta over a decade of excellent dining experience. Dine in, take out, or free delivery. We feature over 25 different types of pizza pies and also will create anything you want. Our sauces are made fresh daily and use only the freshest ingredients. We also have good old-fashioned style entrees cooked like your mom used to make. From wraps, calzones, rolls, and pasta specials galore to calamari and soups, all in a cozy atmosphere. Call today or stop on in. This is Lanny Poffo, formerly the genius full of glory and renown. You are listening to Damage 365 Radio. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Esposito's Pizza and Pasta of Matawan and Manasquan, New Jersey, and the Funkenstein Wrestling Superstore. Uh, We'll be getting some new promos for them very shortly. Brand new location in the English Town Flea Market in the Blue Building. So you're going to have to check them out. A much larger location where the Damage 365 Radio banner hangs from the rafters of the shop. Very excited to see that. And uh, right now, we like to say hello to uh, Nick the Beard, who's calling in via satellite from uh, Beardland. What's up, Nick? Not much, Kev. Not much. I'm in the middle of nowhere, like always. Yes, it Mon Park in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Just uh, at my Survivor Series location. Um, had to go through a metal detector to get here. Um, yes, but still. Yes, myself included. I, I had to go through a uh, a very tough security check to get into the studio uh, to make sure that I wasn't one of two things. I wasn't going to blow up the studio, and I wasn't a supporter of Roman Reigns being the next World Heavyweight Champion. Yes, well, yeah, I'm definitely not a Roman Reigns supporter, so you have nothing you have nothing to worry about in that sense. Yes, and I was saying earlier, I said, um, maybe the Survivor Series wasn't the best place for ISIS to uh, to threaten anybody, because, I mean, you can have 15,000 angry fans tonight who will... If Roman Reigns wins. If Roman Reigns leaves as heavyweight champion, um, yep. you, you know, I, I, think, I, I think we'll have a 15,000... Collectively angry people trying to kick the crap out of everybody. Yep. Yeah. Um, I, to be honest, I know we'll go through picks later and stuff, but it's going to be an interesting night. I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's up in the air, but it, it it just seems so obvious. And I know WWE has not in the, not past, past, but most recent past, they try to swerve us here and there where. It's so obvious. Everybody knows what's going to happen, and they throw a little wrench into it, and they, they yeah. change it up. They did that. Put, put it put it this put it this way. I mean, we're gonna we we know what the finals is going to be with the final four the way it is. Right. We know what the finals is going to be. It's going to be Ambrose and Reigns. I mean, if it's not, I would be completely and utterly shocked. And like, I, so sure it's if be- it is Ambrose and Reigns, I would love to see. In the only way, I would love to see Reigns win that championship if he pulls a. Uh, Screw you, Ambrose. I'm now the corporate champion. Yeah. That's the only way anybody's um, going to turn the TV on on Monday. <laughs> yeah. It's, I don't know. I really don't know how it's going to how it's gonna end. I mean, they put it this way. The card is very, very lackluster. I don't care if you have the Brothers of Destruction taken on the Wyatt. You have a vacant championship up for grabs. It's very, very lackluster. 
and WWE needs to not just, they, they need to do something to surprise us and make people tune, like you said, tune in tomorrow night. Yeah, and I can tell you right now, two, th- two reasons people will not turn in tomorrow night. Uh, one, if Roman Reigns walks out as heavyweight champion without a uh, without a swerve, that's one. Yep. And two, Sheamus cashes in without a swerve and he leaves as world champion and not as a corporate champion. No, nobody's going to turn the TV on for Monday Night Raw to yeah. watch either one and, of these guys defend that title or even talk and about I don't, it. And I don't see Reigns turning heel. Like It's just not happening because one, Cena's out, and two, they're building him up to be the next Cena, and you can't just have him turn heel out of nowhere, you know? Like That's just, out, in my mind, that's out of the question. I, Roman Reigns I, I don't. I, I think they're, they're kind of repeating this... Uh, Kind of like this Daniel Bryant theme, like where the the, uh, the the authority is doing everything they can to prevent him from becoming champion, and when he finally yep. sticks it to them, I think it's gonna be kind of uh, I'm gonna join them. I, I just I have this feeling. I know a lot of people say that Ambrose that from day one expected him to be the heel, and then it wound up being Rollins, and yeah. we, we all know Rollins is gonna come back as face. So. Yeah. I don't know necessarily if Ambrose is going to turn heel, though. I think there's a, there's a chance he might win the title just being a face. And he, just won, and he just won ups. Maybe we don't see a full heel turn tonight. Maybe we see him sort of like, not cheat his way to a victory over Reigns, but sort of like just finagles his way in there and gets the, gets the W and gets the title. Maybe something know. along those lines happen. But I don't see a full heel turn by, by, by Ambrose tonight at all. All right, we'll get we'll get to that uh, right now. I want to get to UWA Elite results from their last show of the year, Last Breath, uh, sold out pack show at South River, New Jersey last night. I'm and quite jealous that I couldn't be there. I had a couple of title changes too, and uh, very very exciting. So let's uh, let's get to this. I don't I didn't, I forgot where I put my notebook, but I pretty much remember all the the highs and lows off the top of my head. Uh, the pre-show show, saw uh, Kentucky Bread. They took on Chris Powers, Anthony Stallone, and Matt Vertigo. And it was the the, the foursome because um, Vinny Chenzo is uh, the fourth member of that Kentucky Bread squad. And happy birthday goes out there to Vinny Chenzo. His birthday was yesterday. So a, a good friend of the network. Yep. <laughs> Even though we ripped him up a couple times on his first shows that we went to. Hey, you know, it's all, it's all in good fun. It was all in good fun, but you know what? He actually, not that he took it to heart, but he took it, he's like, all right, you know what? Someone's watching me and critiquing me, so let me, like, let me learn from it. Because there was a couple other shows that he said, he asked me for his opinion, and I gave it to him. So, you know, we're not here to rip people up and make fun of anybody. We're here just to ah. re- recap. The owners want us to recap it and critique it so they know what, you know what the highs and the lows are. And I'm sure the wrestlers, you know, want to know this, too. They want to know if they botched the spot or... Or if uh, they could have did something different, but because we're brutally honest, we're not doing it we to, are. to take a jab. We're not doing it to take a jab at these as nope. the company or, or the wrestlers. Because we're when that bell rings and the curtain closes and the ring's packed up, you know we're cool with every one of these guys, and you know we, yeah. we we'll do anything to help promote them. You know, hence why we bring a lot of independent stars to the conventions. We can bring all the all the former WWE, TNA, and all those guys. Yep. But you know what? They're not the future. They're they're the past. Yeah, they're gonna make us money, but I'd rather bring the future of this business to shows yeah. and um, show them what it's all about. Interact with with, with fans and you know exactly. teach, teach them early. But I think it's also good for we, us bringing a uh, like a lot of these independent stars and bring one real big name mm-hmm. because then also they interact. The people we bring also interact with each other, and then these independent yep. stars can learn from these from these past legends. Exactly. Okay, we saw Nicholas K. Speaking about big TV guy, he defeated uh, current TNA Impact star Robbie E. Your buddy and mine. Robbie E. Oh, Robbie E. <laughs> oh, Robbie E. Uh, but let me tell you something. He, he was quite entertaining uh, in the ring. He um, Nicholas K. was uh, doing the tur- turnbuckle to turnbuckle, all four corners, smashing his head. Then he got to the fourth one, and he got the crowd counting uh, counting to ten, and um, then he let go and Rob.